North Maluku is known with abundant mineral resources such as nickel, gold, and other metals, making mining a major economic driver in the region. While mining activity contributes significantly to employment and infrastructure development, they also generate negative environmental impacts. One of the most pressing concerns is the discharge of wastewater containing heavy metal such as arsenic, mercury, cadmium, and nickel, which threatens both surface and groundwater quality. As well as the health of ecosystem and surrounding communities, in response to these issues, I am Adisti Jolinar Silawani, a mining engineering student at Hyrule University, proposed a viral mediation as an environmentally friendly and sustainable remediation method. Viral remediations involve the use of certain plants to absorb, stabilize, or degrade potent in soil and water. It is a low cost efficient and natural technique that enhances environmental restoration over the long term. The process of viral mediation include the uptake of heavy metals by plant roots, the translocation of the metals to above ground plant parts, and their sequestration with specific cell compartments. Hyperaccumulator plants are capable of surviving in contaminated environments and efficiently absorbing heavy metals. Several local plant species such as water spinach, water hyacinth, water fern, and calopobians have been identified as suitable candidates for viral mediation in affected water sheets. In coal fire power plants, in North Maluku, including the one in Tidore, generate fire ash and bottom ash by product of combustion. If not properly managed, this waste can cause air, water, and soil pollution. As a mitigation strategy, these ashes can be utilized as supplementary materials and the production of environmentally friendly construction materials. The pathologic property of fly ash and bottom ash make them suitable for use in brick making, concrete mixture, and substitute aggregates in infrastructure progress. These two approaches contribute directly to the achievement of several sustainable development goals. Pyromediation support SDG 6 by reducing pollutants and improving water quality. It also aligns with SDG 12 by promoting sustainable waste and management in mining and energy sector, and its contribute to SDG 15 to the rehabilitation of degraded land and the protection of terrestrial ecosystems. In conclusion, the gradient in North Maluku requires integrated and nature-based solution. Fire mediation and the use of coal combustion by products offer practical and sustainable strategies to mitigate pollution, restore ecosystems, and advance regional development while supporting global sustainability goals. Thank you very much.